Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, aka IB Crazy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the OpenLRS NG firmware into the Flytron OpenLRS. Now this will install in both the 1 watt and the 100 milliwatt modules. It probably works the same way for the orange LRS, but I don't own that, so I haven't tried it yet. Anyway, let's get started. I'll show you how it's done. First thing you're going to need is to download the latest version of Arduino. So you want to go to Arduino's website, go here to download, and the download, if you have Windows, install here, Mac OS, install there. Now I already have it on my computer, so I'm not going to go any further. But once it's installed and you get that all set up, the next thing you have to do is install the FTDI driver. You're going to program it with one of these small FTDI cables. And in order to do that, you're going to need the driver. So go to ftdichip.com and install the driver. Over here, you've got an already set up executable. Click on that, go ahead and save it, and it will be ready to use. Now, to install, first now you're going to have to get the firmware. This is on the GitHub site. Go to github.com slash kh4 slash openlrsng and then you need all the files from rx.h all the way down to here. So these here are the files that you're going to need. To install them, click on the one on the first one. Over here there's a button that says raw. This makes life very easy. When you go to raw, the raw code shows up on your screen. The way I like to do it, open it up, control A first to select all, control C, copy. Then open up Notepad and simply paste it in Notepad. Go to File. Save as. Now remember this code was rx.h. Save the file as the exact same as on the GitHub site's name. So here we're going to go rx.h and down here change the file to all files. What this does is make sure you have the .h extension and not a .txt extension. Then you can put it wherever you want. In my case, under the OpenLRS NG. Save. And there it is. And then you go back. And do the next with the TX. Again. Raw. Select all. Save as, this time it is tx.h. Again, save as all files. Save. Now you go through all of these and you're going to install every single one of them except the last one rather than .h is .ino. This is the master file. However, it's still the same. Open it up, go to RAW, copy it, paste it in place, save as, open lrsng.ino, and again, be sure to change it to all files. Do not save it as a text file or it won't work. Go to save. All right. Now that everything is installed, now we've got to go into our Arduino program and open it up. So I install Arduino, open it up, get it ready to run. File open. 
Now you're going to want to open up the one that says Open LRS NG. Okay. From here we've got to see where this driver is. And the easiest way to do that is just to go into your control panel. Device Manager. And where it says COM ports, you'll see something that says USB serial port and then it'll give a COM number. In case you don't know which it's actually on, pull it, see which one disappears, plug it back in, see which one shows up. Alright, so we know we're on COM4. Go back to Arduino. Go into Tools, Serial Port, and select the proper serial port. In this case, COM4, it will show up. Then you need to go to, into Tools, Board, Arduino Pro Mini, 5V, 16 MHz, 18 Mega, 328. Okay. Now, to configure the transmitter, scroll down to where it says, right here where it says com compilation target, and you'll see it'll look like this. And it says, to enable transmitter code, default is RX, remove those. And make sure this says TX. That tells this that it wants to compile the transmitter code. Now the quick and easy way to make this happen, once you're ready, hit verify. That makes sure everything is working properly. It's done compiling. Then the cheap easy way to get this to work is simply to slide the board over top like this and then twist it and that light will start blinking. That means you've got a decent connection. And hit over here, Upload. So you can see it's uploading. And then as soon as those lights go off, it'll be done. Okay, done uploading. Now for our receiver. To do our receiver, we simply come back down to this line of code right here and change that T to an R. Not too bad, is it? Then the way we do it is this goes backwards this direction into all the holes. Try to get as much pressure as you can. We've already verified it, so Compile, and here we go. And that's it. You've now got a transmitter and a receiver compiled and ready to go. The only thing you have to do is go through the binding procedure. All right, now on to how to bind this together. Put your module in the back of your radio, push in the button, and then turn the radio on. Give it a few moments, release the button, and it'll start to beep. This is in bind mode. Then all you do, make sure you have the receiver antenna installed, plug in your battery, Wait a few moments, disconnect it, then turn off your transmitter. Turn your transmitter back on, reconnect your battery, and we're live. This has been an IB Crazy tutorial. Keep your wings in the sky.